What's going on everyone? Yes, it is another tour of you and yes, the man slash statue that stands in front of you is David D. Michelangelo. Now this figure here is made by Max Factory Figma and this is from their Table Museum line. So, as always, let's go ahead and jump into this review and see what this figure has to offer. Maybe the good and the bad. Now just letting you know, before I go any further as well, this is a brand new lens on my camera. I have a fixed lens, meaning that I do not have the capabilities of actually zooming in and out. So I'll be doing the physical zooming in and out by moving the figure further or closer to the lens. So let me know how you feel about this after the uh, review. Put some comments below. Tell me if you actually like this lens better than the other. And I will be working with this lens over the other. So beyond all that, let's go ahead and look at a full 360 of good old David here. As for details as always, Figma did an outstanding job. They even added David's wing ding dinner. Yep. David has man parts, which I actually think is really dope. And uh, to be honest with you, I think it's really cool of being a grown up. Like they, they didn't pull any punches on what they scoped it into this toy, which that's what makes this line to me so dope. Is that they they are just giving you what the statue should actually look like if you've seen it in person. And I really think this is a really nice touch. And currently right now I have David on his statue mount. So you get this mount and this is pretty much how you display good old David whenever uh, you have him just out and about. Unless you want to put him in a dynamic pose. They did a really good job on the hair. Let's see if I can get a better focus for y'all. Yeah, the hair is nice. Nicely scoped it. Got crack. Even the base itself is pretty decent. Let me go ahead and focus on that for y'all. See little rock lines and little tree lines. Really well done. And these museum figures don't come with a whole lot. They come with, you know, pretty bare bones. Um, mainly just due to the fact they're supposed to be a statue. So they don't really get too many accessories. Uh, their accessories is normally the base itself or whatever particular item that the, the character will actually hold or the statue may hold or whatever the case may be. So there's your full 360 of good old David. I'll push him back a bit. And we're going to look at height comparison. Let's push him back a little bit further. Alright. And David, on a stand, I think is roughly about maybe six inches or so. Give you a quick understanding. That's how tall he is to fig my guts. Here's the dick again. And that's how tall he is, the Kratos. So, he's a fairly nice size. Uh, if you take him off the stand, he'll probably be like a maybe a half an inch lower than Guts. Guts is definitely a larger Figma, so he was kind of abnormal. Alright, and let's go ahead and get good old David off this base. And what's really nice, bring it in close. It's just hold in my two pegs. Pull that off. There's the pegs. Can move this out of the way now. All right. And also, what I'm going to do, I have to remember, it was really tough on taking his hands uh, off the peg joints. Just I don't know why. It's probably because it has the new feel, and I don't mess around with these too much. But this comes off easily, right? So you can go ahead and pull that. If you look on the back here, it's pegged into his back. All right, and oddly enough, this particular uh, piece of mold is actually scoped it directly into the hand. So it looks like it can come out, but it can't. It's actually one piece. So you actually have to take this off. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna see if I can get it off the hand. There we go. I was able to do that easily that time around because it sucked the first time. Alright, and I'm going to pick just 
Let's try any hand. Oh, wrong fucking side. Sorry. I'll give him a, a good job. Good job, hand. How about that? That'll work. He's catching the bus. He hitchhiking. Fuck, I don't know. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and roll him with that hand. And that can be the default hand for this review here. So I'll go ahead and put him in the background. And let's go over these accessories that good old David comes with. So David is gonna come with two heads. He comes with this head that you see in front of you, which this is not the default head that it comes on inside the box. I'll show it to you real quick. The difference between this head and this head, so I'm going to go ahead and bring this up close because for the most part, the mold is exactly the same. No difference in facial expression. It's pretty much identical. All right. Only difference is, if you notice, David eyes kind of like uh, is very bland and definitely sit inside of the face, which, in my personal opinion, is perfect because it's a statue, so it shouldn't be really, really uh, defined. But if you notice on this David, let's go ahead and bring him in. He has movable eyes. That's why it has that awkward color. And this is why you see that actual line above the scalp. Because this can actually be pulled off. And when you pull that off, I'll go ahead and show you real quick. Let's go ahead and pull this head off. And they actually put this together really, really well. It's pretty tough. Alright, so there's the face flip it around has little holes kind of like how revolt take do their eyes and you're able to move his eyes around so this is really cool but he does get two heads all right he's gonna come with the part you use to move the eyes of course so he actually gets that he's gonna receive so that piece that you see me pull off at the beginning which I think is supposed to be a sling. Correct me if I'm wrong because I really don't know. But I think it's supposed to be a sling with a rock at the end. Because you get a straight one as well. I'm bringing it a little bit closer. And you can see the little rock inside of the plastic. Now the only thing I feel about this, I know it's supposed to be based upon the statue, but if this was going to be an accessory where clearly it's not the exact same as the statue itself in real life, they should have put a little bit of darkened uh, shades into the rock to kind of separate it because you could tell it's something separate, but the complexion is so much the same that it kind of looks kind of crappy in my personal opinion. I mean, it is what it is, but I just wish it was a little bit uh, darker shades just to kind of make it more prominent. But you do have that. You get the hand that's meant for that, which is an extra hand here. So it's the exact same hand that's on that other uh, sling, but this is the one that's not molded directly to it. It has a really nice hand gesture. And you're going to get an extra peg. And then you get these set of hands. I'm going to put it on there real quick. Sorry about that. You're going to get these set of hands. So you got like grip hands, which I kind of don't know why, but you can add weapons to it. So it's always a plus to have something extra. But you get those. You get the, the thumb of hand. You can even see the veins on the hands, which is really cool when the light hit it just right. It's really nice. You get like these relaxed pointer hands almost. Or almost like a hand shaking hand. And then you get the sprawled out hands. Which is also really nicely sculpted. It looks really, really good. I like the coloration on them. Because they look like worn down uh, statue material. So that looks really, really nice. Alright. So you get all of that. And you've already seen 
his stand pretty much like I said it's very simplistic but it's a nice little stand see little foot grooves in there for him to be mounted all right so that is all of the accessories for good old David there and what I'm going to do is going to put his head back on so we can look at this articulation there we go alright so as for articulation these figures seem like they may not have that much posability depending on which ones you get this one definitely has a really really nice articulation going on I'm going to go ahead and focus real quick so you're going to get his head that can go about that far back which is practically zero going down to the just the chin going down pretty much look forward that's about it now tilt get about that much and about that much but then when you add the neck involved into the situation you get about that much looking down which is really really cool you're going to get about that much looking up which is pretty decent you can do a full 360 of course tilt wise get about that much over and really not too much going that way just due to the fact of the mode of the neck uh, kind of give you a little bit more free range to work with on that side going to the back he is on a peg swivel uh, well peg hinge rather and you can move his hair so this is really cool really nice touch alright neck can also rotate it's gonna be kinda tough just due to the fact that it's designed for the groove of the the body itself so you might find yourself more troubling trying to rotate it here when you can just rotate it from up here getting to the arm itself this is on a ball joint slash hand to peg so he don't have an actual swivel in this as you can see but he can turn up here which is actually a pretty nice amount of range you start seeing joint but you can do it the arm can actually move kind of forward backwards you get about that much range going up Clearly, you can see the down. You can do a full rotation if you need to be. And what I do like about this whole design, I like the way that you can hide the joints. So, depending on what pose you got them in, you can just kind of change the rotation to kind of make it look more seamless. So, that's really nice. Going down, you have a hinge on the elbow, really nice amount of range into the forearm. This can rotate at the bottom and at the top. You're going to get the same exact design on the wrist. The wrist goes about that much up. Can't really go down just due to the fact of that. But if you do turn it, then you can get a little bit more range. Okay? So that is his wrist game. Now going down to the waist, get about that much tilt to the side, that much tilt to that side, about that far forward that far back I do like the what fact that they actually mold it all the way up so when you have him in an awkward pose he actually stays flush this is really cool really nice design now going down to the pelvis area they put little gaps for his you know his goods and that way it won't hinder or get in the way when you put his legs close together so that's actually pretty cool leg wise goes about that high up but I will say maybe it's just on mine the ball joint happened to come loose on this leg uh, not really bad but just due to the fact that this is really not soft enough I think this could have been done better like it should have been a little bit more soft just to give a little bit more give in the leg area going back his leg get about that much back and then out to the sides get about that much so not too much range on the legs now getting down to the knee I really like the way they design this Hold on, let me bring it in close focus real quick really really flush looks really good of course you get these big old uh, joints in the back which is kind of an eyesore but I'm one of the people that never bothered some people can't stand it so it just depends on how you feel about that but you do get up. Alright. 
you do get about that much being which they should have just painted this the same tone as that that would have made way more sense but hey can't win it all get that at his ankle get about that far that far and then you have a toe joint as well which works really well so let's go ahead and put David in a pose real quick further as him holding the pose or getting into a good pose for the most part I don't have any problems about that I really think this figure is really done nicely and it definitely can hold his own when it comes down to posability now it is kind of hard dealing with these particular toy line feet because they have realistic feet so they don't have them flat surfaces like most toys so it's a little bit harder to stand them up sometimes so that may be a headache you may need to stand for it if you notice I'm, I'm struggling where normally I don't struggle with posing the toy so I will say you might definitely want to stand dealing with this because it's kind of a pain to ask but overall that is the review of good old Michelangelo here Fuck him. I'm sick of trying to stand him up. But I will say this is a great, great figure. So if you like this particular toy line, if you was thinking about getting them, I definitely would say pick them up. It'd be a really nice uh, add-on. I got a few ideas that I plan on doing since I've been collecting these. Uh, they do have some really sweet ones coming out soon. They have, uh, I don't know the name. I can't think of the name. But it's the Leonardo da Vinci uh painting the one where you see like the guy with the four arms and four legs that was a must I had to buy that because it's like one of my favorite art books so I picked that up and then they got two uh, angels coming out as well which look pretty dope so that's the two that have been displayed as like the new uh, upcoming statues from this line but all in all thank you for coming through checking out the review y'all continue collecting shits and I'll definitely have more popping up. Y'all have a great one.